James! Look at me go! I am such a splendid engine! Welch coal is truly wonderful! I still don't think you work hard enough! What happened to the engine that was always complaining that their system was out of order, eh? That engine was a machine from the past. I'm a machine of the future. You'll never compare to me. Cocky much? You're starting to act like Gordon. What? Me? Act like that pompous fat face? Oh, I say. Don't say anything. The station master is on the intercom. Good afternoon, you two. James, you're needed at Farquhar. Henry, your next train isn't until tomorrow morning. Why aren't you out here? I thought the intercom was for schedule announcements. Um, I've accidentally locked myself inside. Ah, yes. My flying kipper, the true pride of the line. Goodness me, you are Gordon. My funnel's cold, my funnel's cold. I want to- Not now, Percy, I'm busy. Rude? What are you busy doing anyway? Trying to sleep. But it's only seven. I have an early train in the morning. Can I come? What? Of course not. Why? Because it's a one engine train. And I don't need a nosy little engine like yourself annoying me the whole way to Scotland. I thought you went to London with the Kipper. Tomorrow is different. A school needs a supply of fish for its students' feast. A whole train's worth? Enough to feed a village? It must be a big school. Magic school. What was that? Uh, nothing. Now go to sleep. Fine. Good night. Night. Christmas air. Mm. There's a nip in the air. Cold won't be good for Farmer McCall's crops. You are right, Henry? Never better, driver. Well, that's good to hear. Oh, you better be careful though, the rails are quite slippery today. Young Audrey's already slipped. <laughs> I'll make sure to keep an eye out. You'll need to since Ted's sick. I'm afraid magic will be out of the question, eh? Oh, come on. You and Feynman haven't cast magic since I pulled the Hogwarts Express. <laughs> this is outrageous. Well, I'm not exactly meant to be using magic while working. And you weren't really meant to know. <laughs> well, just make sure you're on your best behavior. Huh. Fine. If possible, I'll try to use magic where I can. Yes! But, it may only be on the cab because I'll need help shoveling coal and I'll melt ice if there's any ice on the tracks for you. You're the best driver. I know. Now I better get going so we're not behind schedule. The fat director won't be pleased. You mean the fat controller? Right. My bad. Icy tracks!
The signal was down, sir. Honestly, it was. Cheer up, Henry. It wasn't your fault. I shouldn't know it was the accident. I'm sending you to crew a fine place for sick engines. They'll give you a new shape and a larger firebox, and you won't need special coal anymore. Won't that be nice? Oh, yes, sir. What's this about, crew? No, Mark. You need to go home and rest up. But, sir... That's an order. My friend William Stanley will take good care of Henry, and you'll see him in a couple of months. Okay, sir. Audrey, my lad, I think it would be better to pick up the snow with a shovel instead of a broom. A broom? Get a broom please. There's she. Let Margaret. I better let William know. Hello, excuse me. Excuse me, hi. Can I help you? Hi, I'm here to see Henry. He's busy in a meeting with a client. No, I mean the steam engine. He's, he's an Atlantic C1 class green engine. Oh, the Western, eh? Oh, you must be Henry's driver. I am William Stanley. Excuse me. Oh, yes. Tom told me to expect your arrival. He's a you're quite rebellious in the ways of... Railway etiquette. Anyway, come with me. It's so good to see you. Mark, it, it, it won't say anything. It's an empty shell. What did you do with Henry? Henry is fine. He's me. Henry Potter. Hello, old friend. Long time no see. I guess you could say that, Harry. Why are you here? The Ministry needs you. The Ministry can leave me be. You've seen the signs. Acolytes and Hogsmeade. Dementors and the Hogwarts Express. You know what this is all about. I already came in and told you guys everything. About the Dementors and the Hogwarts Express. Everything already. You know who Grindelwald is behind all this. He's plotting to start a global wizarding war when the Muggles start theirs. Why won't you defend your society? Because I'm on Solo now. I have a life there. The island of Solo is at risk too. There's great magic on that island. Into the lives of those engines, that railway. And Grindelwald wants it. He's going to harness its power. I won't let that happen. You won't be enough. Even with Ted. Join the Ministry, Mark. 
It's for your own good and for everyone else's. I already told you my answer, Harry. Well, we could have used you as Nora. Anyway, the office stands and is always there. Aren't you forgetting something? Ah, yes. Benite. What, what happened? Ah, yes. <clears throat> Henry is in shed 80902, right this way. Here he is, the new Northwestern Railway, Black 5, number 3 engine. New and improved model, much sleeker design. Design with bigger firebox capacity, so you no longer need Welsh coal. Stuff's too expensive anyways. Hey buddy, how are you feeling? Driver? I feel... grand. Unique. Powerful. A whole new engine. Are you ready to go home? Oh, definitely. I miss Soda. So do I. Let's get going. Good morning, Henry. I'm glad to see you back home. I'm glad to be home. Excellent. I'm assigning you to pull the Wild Norwester this week. You deserve it. Yippee! First, I must speak with your driver in my office. Oh. Mm. Come along. Mark, I told you not to go, and what do you do? I... You disobeyed a direct order. Right as I'm about to go on my holiday. I should fire you for insubordination. Please don't, sir. Don't worry, I won't. I've already spent far too much money on this engine. I'd hate to lose more firing his best driver. Look, I know you care about Henry as if he's a member of your family, but rules are rules and I expect them to be followed. I have good reason to not send you there. What do you mean? Dark times lie ahead, Mark. Grindelwald's forces are growing stronger by the day. Don't think I don't know about you and your Hogwarts holiday. I fear you've been not without standard chance. How do you know all the rules? Are you serious, Mark? I know you were the one that saved those crew members from the crash. Besides, this island of Sodor is a land of wondrous magic. It's part of a director... <clears throat> I mean, controller's job to know their way away. I see. Now, I've got matters to attend to. While Norwester is due to depart shortly, I expect you guys to leave on time and arrive at Barrow and Furnace on time. Lest you have anything else to say on the matter. Good day, sir. Good. Now, you best hurry along, although I feel like that won't be a problem now with Henry and his upgrades. Good day, Mark. Don't let us down now, Proteus. Not now more than ever. Beep, 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 beep. 
thank you very much. Why should Henry have a new shape? A shape good enough for me is good enough for Not me. now, Gordon. I'm busy. Busy? <laughs> You're a common tank engine. What could you possibly be busy doing? Trying to rest from hearing you talk all day. Now I know how Henry feels. What are you doing here anyway? Shouldn't you be back on Sodor? Shouldn't you mind your own business? <laughs> Touché. Henry whistles too loud. It isn't wrong, but <laughs> we just don't do it. How are you, young Percy? Still cold. I need a scarf. Engines don't wear scarves, Percy. We have been over this. The firelight was coming early tomorrow, according to Thomas. Surely the day's work will keep you warm. But there's always too much work for me to do. We need another engine at Tidmouth. Shunting's hard. Oh, rubbish. You don't work hard enough. There's a rumour that the wharf in Napford is being turned into a harbour. I heard that I might be sent to work there. What? That old wharf? What nonsense. I think it's best you get some rest, young engine. <laughs> I'm sure there's a perfectly logical explanation for all of this. It's good to see you, old friend. It's been many moons since our last adventure. Indeed it has. I see you've got Henry as your new partner in crime. 
That was one time a couple of years ago. He's a good engine, that Henry. Edward? What's happening? I don't know, but it can't be good. <laughs> 